Taranaki is a region in the west of New Zealand's North Island, administered by the Taranaki Regional Council. It is named for its main geographical feature, the stratovolcano of Mount Taranaki. The main centre is the city of New Plymouth. The New Plymouth district has over 65% of the population of Taranaki. New Plymouth is in North Taranaki along with Inglewood and Waitara. South Taranaki towns include Hora, Stratford and Iltham. Since 2005, Taranaki has used the promotional brand like no other. Geography and People Taranaki is on the west coast of the North Island, surrounding the volcanic peak. The region has an area of 7258 Kamas squared. The large bays northwest and southwest of Cape Egmont are the prosaically named North Taranaki Bight and South Taranaki Bight. Mount Taranaki or Mount Egmont, the second highest mountain in the North Island, is the dominant feature of the region. A Maori legend says that Taranaki previously lived with the Tongariro, Ngoraho and Ruapu mountains of the central North Island but fled to its current location after a battle with Tongariro. A near-perfect cone, it last erupted in the mid-18th century. The mountain and its immediate surrounds form Egmont National Park. Maori had called the mountain Taranaki for many centuries, and Captain James Cook renamed it Egmont after the Earl of Egmont, the recently retired First Lord of the Admiralty who had encouraged his expedition. The mountain has two alternative official names, Mount Taranaki, and Mount Egmont. The region has a population of 115,800 and is the tenth largest region of New Zealand by population. Just under half the residents live in the city of New Plymouth. Other centres include Waitara, Inglewood, Stratford, Opunak, Okato, Kapoonga, Iltham, Hora, Patea and Waverley are Euro the southernmost town. The region has had a strong Maori presence for centuries. The local Iwi include Ngati Mutunga, Ngati Mara, Ngati Rani, Taranaki, Tiya Euro Tiawa, Ngararo, Ngarue and Ranji and Ngati Tama. The region is exceptionally fertile, thanks to generous rainfall and the rich volcanic soil. Dairy farming predominates, with the milk factory just outside Hora being the second largest in the southern hemisphere. There are also oil and gas deposits in the region, both on and offshore. The Maui gas field off the southwest coast has provided most of New Zealand's gas supply as well as, at one time supporting two methanol plants at Motunui. More fuel and fertilizer is produced from a well complex at Kapuni and a number of smaller land-based oil fields. With the Maui field nearing depletion, new offshore resources have been developed, the Tui field, 50 kilometers south of Hora, with reserves of 50 million barrels of oil in the Pookura gas field, 4.5 kilometers north of Waitara. The way the land mass projects into the Tasman Sea with northerly, Westerly and southerly exposures results in many excellent surfing and windsurfing locations, some of them considered world class. Equals cities and towns equals. History The area became home to a number of Maori tribes from the 13th century. From about 1823, the Maori began having contact with European whalers as well as traders who arrived by schooner to buy flax. In March 1828 Richard Dickey Barrett set up a trading post at Namotu. Barrett and his companions, who were armed with muskets and cannon, were welcomed by the Aero Tiawa tribe because of their worth assisting in their continuing wars with Waikato Maori. Following a bloody encounter at Namotu in 1832, most of the 2000 Aero Tiawa living near Namotu, as well as Barrett, migrated south to the Kapiti region and Marlborough. In late 1839 Barrett returned to Taranaki to act as a purchasing agent for the New Zealand Company, which had already begun on selling the land to prospective settlers in England with the expectation of securing its title. Barrett claimed to have negotiated the purchase of an area extending from Mokor to Cape Egmont, and inland to the upper reaches of the Wanganui River including Mount Taranaki. A later deed of sale included New Plymouth and all the coastal lands of North Taranaki including Waitara. European settlement at New Plymouth began with the arrival of the William Bryan in March 1841. European expansion beyond New Plymouth, however, was prevented by Maori opposition to selling their land, 
a sentiment that deepened as links strengthened with the King movement. Tension over land ownership continued to mount, leading to the outbreak of war at Waitara in March 1860. Although the pressure for the sale of the Waitara block resulted from the colonists' hunger for land in Taranaki, the greater issue fueling the conflict was the government's desire to impose British administration, law and civilization on the Maori. The war was fought by more than 3,500 imperial troops brought in from Australia, as well as volunteer soldiers and militia, against Maori forces that fluctuated between a few hundred and about 1,500. Total losses among the imperial, volunteer and militia troops are estimated to have been 238, while Maori casualties totaled about 200. An uneasy truce was negotiated a year later, only to be broken in April 1863 as tensions over land occupation boiled over again. A total of 5,000 troops fought in the Second Taranaki War against about 1,500 men, women and children. The style of warfare differed markedly from that of the 1860-61 conflict as the army systematically took possession of Maori land by driving off the inhabitants, adopting a scorched earth strategy of laying waste to the villages and cultivations of Maori, whether warlike or otherwise. As the troops advanced, the government built an expanding line of redoubts, behind which settlers built homes and developed farms. The effect was a creeping confiscation of almost a million acres of land. The present main highway on the inland side of Mount Taranaki follows the path taken by the colonial forces under Major General Trevor Shute as they marched, with great difficulty, from Patea to New Plymouth in 1866. Armed Maori resistance continued in South Taranaki until early 1869, led by the warrior Tito Kawaru, who reclaimed land almost as far south as Wanganui. A decade later spiritual leader T. E. Waiti Rongamai, based at Pariaka, launched a campaign of passive resistance against government land confiscation, which culminated in a raid by colonial troops on November 5, 1881. The confiscations, subsequently acknowledged by the New Zealand government as unjust and illegal, began in 1865 and soon included the entire Taranaki district. Towns including Normanby. Kwara and Kalal were established on land confiscated as military settlements. The release of a Weyatanji Tribunal report on the situation in 1996 led to some debate on the matter. In a speech to a group of psychologists, Associate Minister of Maori Affairs Tariana Turia compared the suppression of Taranaki Maori to the Holocaust, provoking a vigorous reaction around New Zealand, with Prime Minister Helen Clark among those voicing criticism. Economy the sub-national GDP of the Taranaki region was estimated at 4.4 billion US dollars in 2003, 3% of New Zealand's national GDP. Governance equals Provincial government equals, from 1853 the Taranaki region was governed as the Taranaki province until the abolition of New Zealand provinces in 1876. The leading office was that of the superintendent. The following is a list of superintendents of the province of Taranaki during this time. Equals Taranaki Regional Council equals, the Taranaki Regional Council was formed as part of major nationwide local government reforms in November 1989, for the purpose of integrated catchment management. The Regional Council was the successor to the Taranaki Catchment Board, the Taranaki United Council, the Taranaki Harbours Board, and 16 small special purpose local bodies that were abolished under the Local Government Amendment Act 1988. The council's headquarters were established in the central location of Stratford to provide a good compromise in respect of overcoming traditional South versus North Taranaki community of interest conflicts. Chairman, Ross Leslie Allen, David Walter, David McLeod. Maori dialect, the Maori language spoken in Taranaki replaces the sound of H with a break. Thus the famous elder Haina Okeroa was universally known as Aina. The name of the river flowing through New Plymouth, Iwakoio, would be written Iwakoio in central North Island Maori. Motion picture location, Taranaki's landscape and the mountain's supposed resemblance to Mount Fuji led it to be selected as the location for the last samurai a motion picture set in 19th century Japan. The movie starred Tom Cruise. Notable people, Beden Barrett to Euro All Black, 
Sir Peter Buck and Garty Mutunga a Euro Maori scholar, born in Urenui, Michael Campbell a Euro golfer, William Douglas Cook a Euro founder of Eastwood Hill Arboretum, Natapa, Gisborne and of Pukati, world famous rhododendron garden, New Plymouth. Grant Fox a Euro all black fly half, born in New Plymouth, Paige Hebb a Euro professional surfer, Gavin Hill. Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs and New Zealand Warriors and New Zealand Rugby League International, Ben Hurley, comedian, Sean Kelly, winner of Project Runway 13, Isok Luka Euro South Sydney Rabtuchs and New Zealand Rugby League International, Len Lai Euro artist, filmmaker born in Christchurch, collection only housed in New Plymouth, Melanie Linsky a Euro actress, William Malone a Euro First World War officer, Luke McAllister a Euro All Black, Graham Moore a Euro All Black Captain, Conrad Smith a Euro All Black Center, born in Hora and went to Francis Douglas Memorial College, Michael Smith a Euro Artist, Peter Snell a Euro Gold Medal winning athlete, born in Opunak, Ronald Sim a Euro Scholar of Ancient History, T. E. White T. O. Rongamai a Euro Spiritual Leader of Pariaka and Pioneer of Peaceful Protest Strategies. See also, First Taranaki War, Second Taranaki War, Tito Kawaru's War, New Zealand Land Confiscations, Taranaki Rugby Football Union, TSB Bank a Euro formerly Taranaki Savings Bank. References Further reading, J.S. Twillett. The Industrious Heart, A History of New Plymouth. New Plymouth District Council, Belich, James. The New Zealand Wars. Penguin. Dick Scott. Ask That Mountain ISBN 0 7900 0190X. Read. External links Taranaki a Euro Like No Other, the official tourism website, Pukaki, Taranaki's Combined Museum, Library and Visitor Information Center, Taranaki Tourism Website with in depth information about the region and an image library, Taranaki Regional Council Website.